Look at how fucking cute this cup is. Little disco ball cup. So I did my face off camera. Um, my lids are just really dark today. Um, because today we are reviewing the Urban Decay Nocturnal Shadow Box. Um, so you guys know it's 12 shades. It's exclusively at Ulta or Ulta.com or Urban Decay's website. You can't get it anywhere else. So of course I was like, gotta have it. And I'm an Urban Decay whore. I have all the naked palettes, I have the electric palette. Um, I did go to swatch it and I was very impressed. And then I bought it, because I was not. Because I didn't like the Moon Dust palette. But here we go. Oh, should I read the coordinates in the back? We packed this palette with 12 shades of eyeshadow, eight must-haves from our current collection, plus four from past sets. Oh. Experiment with this wide range of neutrals and a few shimmery and glittery shades to trippy dual tones. We even included a double-ended blending slash smudger brush for the perfect application. Okay. Oh. oh, that's cute. Like nocturnal because you need streets. Is that what the packaging is? But it looks like the little Cool. Hi, Fletcher. The little, yeah, I should film in my attic. The little eyeshadow things are part of the brick. So, I really want to, as of late, I think I've been falling into this, this brown creamy thing. Um, so I do want to change it up with different transitional colors and different transitional color, or different transitional colors or transitional, normal transitional colors, and then something abnormal on the lid. Um, so I thought this would be a good palette for me and because I have a problem and I wanted it because it's exclusive to somewhere and I had to have it because I have a makeup bag problem. Let's just be clear. Um, so let's swatch these colors. Oh, this is a little brush. It's stuck. It's very little. But this is the blending. Oh, so that's nice. Very full and lush. And this my side. This feels very hard. Almost like plastic. -y. Uh I always like the brushes that come with the Urban Decay eyeshadow set. I never have a problem with that. So this is ABC gum. That's funny. I like that. A light transitional color. Just a light base color. I'm just gonna clean it on this makeup wipe here. Cause that's that. Midnight Cowboy rides again. So I know that Midnight Cowboy has been a very popular color for them. I like it. Can you see it? That one. So this one you might have to build. It's just really shimmery and pretty champagne color. The next is Baby. Oh, hi. She's not playing no games. So when I swatched it, that's Baby. So when I swatched it, there was some colors, probably like the Midnight Cowboy that I was like, meh, with the pigment. Uh, and then there's some like that with, that are a lot. So with that, with it's highly pigmented, you're gonna get the um, fallout. So half baked, that's probably like one of my favorite colors of all time. This would be ideal for me traveling or just to have in the kit because I want every palette that I have and I want to travel with everything that I have. But if this is a really good mix of all of them, then I'm good. Oh, this looks really pretty. Riff, oh, I like that. It's a little bit lighter transitional color than when I use the one rise rule. And the MAC one. And the Delete. Oh, shit. This is similar to Join My League by MAC. It's a little bit darker. Like a nice espresso. Um, so. So far, I like them all. Um, 
pleased with the swatches. So Fireball. That is not... Okay. This is Fireball. Kind of an orangey salmon. Plot twist, it's not on me. It's a light pink. Iridescent similar to like the Moon Dust palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, that pink one. The next is Backfire. And I think they have lipsticks for Backfire, Fireball. They do have like three lipsticks that came off with. So fire, uh, Backfire is like a light purpley in the same color, but I feel like if you build it up, it's really pretty, really pretty in the creek, or pop that off here. And lounge. And now lounge is similar to the one in the Moon Dust palette that I just got. Um, it's a pretty greeny, emerald green. It's beautiful. Beautiful color. Um, fresh clean break. Oh, hi, Shine. See that? That is crazy. It's a very pretty color. I'm excited to try that one out. And then armor. Which is very loot, like very, like went everywhere. But that could be nice, like a little, hi, a little pop off on the lid there. And then we have two palettes, heroin. If I use this side. It looks like a really deep blue, right? However, on me, it is kind of like a gray, a blue gray, a dark denim. I call it dark denim because it sounds cooler, right? And then the last is blackout. Now, literally, listen, if you want a matte black shade, hi. That's for you, boo. I, I just like pink because I already knew what it was. I don't need, I don't need to, I know it's not gonna play no games. Yeah. I don't know what I want to do though. Um, I want to use as many colors as I can. So we're gonna start with ABC gum on the lid just because as I said, it's a really good base. Be pretty for a pretty brownie smoky eye. Um, or just for itself, really. Hi. Pretty common color. Like, it's pretty, but it's in most palettes. Something like revolutionary. I just like it. Very smooth application. Didn't have to go in twice. Like this is a pigment boom. Hi. Um gonna go in with Rift. Right on here. It's like matte, but it has glitter in it. Can you catch that? It's really pretty. Blend, blend, blend. Okay. Okay. And then do a little delete. Up in the crease. Yeah. And then mush it to the corners of the eye. Oh. 
And I suppose you can use whatever brush you fucking want. I just wanted to use the one that came with it. So, this is Lounge. This one you might have to, you know, like, make sure you get up in there. To pick up the pigment just because it is metallic, but I'm not saying to scrape the pen, I'm just saying to. Oh, hey. To like work it up in there. That face is because there's a lot of fallout. It's reading a lot more blue on camera, but in her, mm, I guess, yeah. It's like a really pretty mermaid color. So I think then I wanna pop it off with the silver armor just to. Blend it on in. So you do a good combination of Spark or you know shimmers and glitters and matte like I said riff combines matte and glitter which is amazing those are my two favorite things um, when it comes to colors okay it's not like pow silvery there we go if you want it pow how silver <laughs> you will have to build it and it is a glitter shimmer shade so that's just gonna happen I do want to throw I don't know what are we missing here a little bit more dimension so I want to throw Maybe some black out at the end. And mush it up just to give the eye a little bit more dimension. And then it can also add, act rather like a liner, you know, like a little wing. And then I could throw in some blue after the black. Just a little because the blue the glitter is a little blue toned. So literally just like squish squish squish. Okay. I wanna use backfire and fireball, but I don't know where to at this. At this point, where we would where would we add it? Um, let's just do a little backfire to transition the transitional color up in the lid. Um, baby. No, I'm taking it as a challenge to use those. Ones. We'll just use as a brow highlight there. Okay. So all we have left is fireball. And half to be a little bit more. So I'm gonna have half baked 
up in here. See, just a little bit more softer. Um, Guess we are kind of forming a smoky eye here, so it'll open the eye up a little bit more. And then all we have is fireball next. And I don't know where we should throw that in. And then Midnight Cowboy, we did not use that. So I'm just gonna throw that, just press it along the black. For more shimmer. Uh-huh. And then fireball. I'm gonna throw up here too. Right on top of Rift. So I do an orange transition all the time, but like a pretty orangey, salmon y. Oh. So I'm really glad that I bought this palette. I did, was like, girl, another palette. Jesus, it's a biscuit. But, half of these colors are new to me. I'm trying to work out with transitional colors. Can't believe I use all 12. I'm gonna throw on some lashes. All right, so I added some lashes. It does just enhance the look. A little butter <laughs> um, I do need a color on the bottom right here to pop it off right so I'm thinking delete yeah just nice and subtle blend it right into the, the half big that I used to pop off the inner corner of my eye. Hi. Yeah. You could also probably use half baked, you know, a little highlighter here. Or Midnight Cowboy, I suppose, depending on your complexion. Cause I have so much going on here. I just wanna do like a pretty nude. So. Oh. The Amor Prohibido from the Selena collection. By itself, on my video that I did the Selena Collection review, I did it with the liner, but this is it by itself. Perfect. Just a little subtle, a little subtle pop of color. And I'm really glad that I got this collection. I'm looking forward to playing with it, incorporating, uh, you know, using it all the time, incorporating maybe with other colors and other palettes. But I really think so. I think like um, if you've been on the fence with some of the other palettes, whether it be the Naked palettes or any other palettes that Urban Decay has, I would start off with this one, actually. Um, get a variety of looks from it. Browns, oranges, and then you have your your you know little pop of colors here. I can't believe I really use all 12. Um, but that just showed you the power of using transitional colors or just using little bits to add to the look. So, you know, blue, then the black, then that, and then the silver. It just all adds to the finished product. So, I do recommend it. It's pretty reasonable. I think it was only um, $29.99, so $30, when usually most of their packets are $54. So, that's amazing. Um, I don't know if it's... I know it's exclusive. I don't know if it's it's exclusive to Ulta. I don't know if it's limited. So, yes, I highly recommend this product if you use Urban Decay before. If you haven't, as Urban Decay fan, I know they kind of dropped the ball with the liquid lipsticks. 
But this came out the same time to kind of save them? I don't know. There's also new you. Go and swatch it. Buy it. And um, comment below if you have any questions for me.